how it started, Natasha Bedingfield's 2004 smash hit Unwritten. How it's going. <laughs> 17 years later, TikToker Ronnie Boy created a dance to a remix made popular on the platform and got to perform it with her in person. How does this make you feel that Unwritten has gotten this second win in this huge way? I love it. Songwriting is, it's magic. Like it's pulling something out of the air that didn't exist and you were kind of tapping in. Natasha was in the studio recording when she came across the remix. Going like, what, what just happened? Like who, who are these people? <laughs> it's Esco, Danny and Sean P. Uh -huh. they, it's these kids who, I guess they grew up together and they just, they, they did a version of Unwritten that is just like, Mind blowing. The remix spawned a couple of popular challenges, including this one. Hi. Hi. Have you seen the comments on this? The comments are the best. Here goes what she didn't say the sunshine was in her back pockets. Like, <laughs> so what did you the think secret, about that? The, the secret that Natasha Benningville has had that nobody's <laughs> known about. <laughs> I just have to say, it didn't appear during the pandemic. I've always had a booty. For some reason, I don't know. <laughs> This was the challenge that inspired Ronnie. Uh, uh, I was like, man, we can do so much more with this. Like, I really feel connected with this song and this beat. So then it was, um, I, did, I made a dance. It took me like at least 20 minutes. Natasha reposting what's now called the mob dance is one thing. One, two, three, four. Hopping on an IG live with Ronnie is another. But flying out to Los Angeles and actually teaching it to her is next level. I messaged her on Instagram because we were going back and forth in the DMs. And she said, yes, that would be perfect. Immediately, I, it, she made me feel like a celebrity, honestly. She was like, oh, Ronnie, oh, thank you so much. You know, like she gave me that comfortable vibe. So it was, it was very easy to communicate with her and very, and very mm -hmm. easy to work with her and stuff like that. And she was a very chill, chill woman. And we were able to get the dance done and all that type of stuff. Wow, that's amazing. Born in Jamaica, the 22-year-old Ronnie lives in Florida and works at a nonprofit called Digital Vibes, teaching kids tech, dance, and how to stay fit through the arts. His heritage influences his dances, and his students know he is big TikTok famous. A lot of schools have reached out to me and like, hey, we did the dance at our school and everything like that. Your dancing has been helping these kids stay positive. And the kids, whenever I go to my sites, I do the same thing with them. We record videos, you know, it just keeps them uplifted and you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's that positive vibe and energy that I get from that is what honestly keeps me going to do what I do. She gave you guys immediate credit. And that's a thing that a lot of people are kind of talking about now that black yeah. creators do not get the same amount of attention, care, recognition for their art as other creators in TikTok. But Natasha kind of used her platform mm -hmm. and pulled you guys up. So what yeah. do you think about that? That honestly is, is, is really dope. And it says a lot about her herself that, you know, she doesn't let the, the um, outside influence dictate how she moves. You know what I mean? So she showed that love, she showed the support and everything like that, she put it out. I think for me, as I've kind of grown through this, I've realized how important that is to shine a light on creators in general. There's whole creative communities of people helping each other, people working together. And the, the, this whole mentality of like, the, it's a dog eat dog world and you have to step on people together. I just don't agree with that. There at the blank page before you. Natasha is working on new music. Ronnie, who aspires to open his own dance studio, says these videos with Natasha have opened up many opportunities for them to perform as coronavirus restrictions ease. And who knows, maybe what is unwritten for Natasha and Ronnie will lead to more moments like this spreading joy to millions for the next generation to discover. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.